Oh, okay, there you go. Hey, perfect. All right, so this is going to be Retro Station versus Herbs. Uh, let me just make sure everything's look good. We also are giving away PC codes in the chat, so be sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, let me just make sure your audio can be heard here real quick. Okay, nope. Hold on. Got to make sure that, that this is all working. Settings. Where's my sync? Let's use system, and that way we can hear it. All right, here we go. Can't no man fight like me. There we go. So we have Retro Station versus My power uh, is herbs. Divine. This is Rosetta versus Herbs. Uh, sorry, Are versus Hilda, ready? which was, I think, really interesting. Um, they're actually using the DDR uh, Retro Station. Oh, so sorry about that. Uh, so they're using the, the arrow, uh, or known as the DDR. Um, something that I was talking about with Retro Station uh, at uh, earlier is how Rosetta can like literally combo into like level 1 special um, as well as like do reversals that are like really crazy so as you can see like Earth is doing a really good job in keeping up with the rhythm hasn't exactly figured out Hilda's moves but definitely um, has been keeping up with, against Earth's special station uh, so far using the ultra uh, moves which is basically a move that you are uh, using like bar for and it's like pretty much really universal um, you can use like your R shoulder to get that but right now Retro Station doing an amazing job against Earth. lost a bit of health there but still doing pretty good Earth still trying to stay alive hasn't activated Hilda's feelings at all um, nor in any health special as well Ultra bar, very close to death, and it looks like a retro station taking the first game. So that is with Rosetta. Is best of five. So we got three games, or three, three about three-ish games. Hi, Mariana. You make a great mural. I love that we get to see like the I can intros. fight even when I'm oh, hungry. This too, by the way. Are you ready? This is a good song. Burdens is actually a very fun song to play. Um, also, note that Rosetta is building up Ultra Bar super fast. It's actually really beneficial for her. Whereas uh, Hilda just builds up Bar regularly. A lot of perfect and flawless here, both on rhythm. Let's see who breaks first, and it is going to be Herbs already losing like about 25% of the Playing pretty perfectly, too. Has he been missing any of those notes? Uh, able to achieve some of the special moves. I believe that is uh, her level 1 special. So, Rosetta able to actually uh, create quite a uh, hard range of notes to actually pick apart and Urge is just losing his health like Doki. Okay, here goes the Ultra Bar, but it was reversal then right now Urge's not looking too good, getting caught in the heat. Oh, and there goes Retro Station up 2-0 against Urge. I'm reaching for the stars. Alright, here we go. Once again, hopping back in, this is potential Move set over. point I'm busy. for Retro Station. The fates brought us here. Hilda's actually pretty Are strong. She's a character that a lot of people actually have been picking up. Like she's been like that first character. Oh, this this song's actually very hard because of the multiple notes. Especially at like the start of it all. You have the green one. Herbs already moving, 
but Retro Station on their way to go ahead and use that level 1 special and have the combo through. Pretty much on point when it comes to this board right now. Ansys is still a pretty good song, but it is pretty tricky. Although Earth has been able to actually be pretty accurate in their notes, uh, so he's been actually able to stop a lot of damage from happening. Probably will be seeing the usage of the Ultra Bar very soon. There it goes. But we see Retro Station responding with a reversal and a very nicely well timed one, too. Very much advantage of the fact that Earth is having that ultra bar to try to put some form of pressure on that station board. But it is closing through 25% on the board right now. It's not looking too hot for Earth. Still staying alive thanks to the accuracy on the board. But Retro Station about to land that ultra hit. And there you have it. Retro Station was moving on. The whole into world is my canvas. Finals. So that was really good stuff. Congratulations. I love it. It's the intensity. We're about to play. We're about to go in. Random select. Let's go. Let's get it. Rosetta Kosaku. Retrocession versus Miss Nada. I'm actually super excited to see how uh, Nada plays Kosaku. Just because I actually am really interested in Kosaku, but one thing that I've learned is that Kosaku's, um, Kosaku and Rosetta are characters that, like, they, yes, they have re reversals, but they're very much built around having that meter and using the even the visual based on that. So here we go. This song is my name in red, one that we haven't really heard before, but look at these flawless right now from both of these players. They are on point and on track playing those notes, but this is where it gets tricky, right? Those notes that get really uh, long held. Uh, right now, we do have full bar of meter. This is really more useful for Nana on the side of Kosaku to go ahead and change into the different stances right now. Uh, she is in the ice stance. Hasn't been using too much of the specials just yet, but the helps have been even just simply based on accuracy. And there goes some of that chip damage actually going through, but the majority of the damage actually avoided. And I believe we are right back. Uh, we did see an ultra being used. So this might be an opportunity that has a huge chunk of health, though we have fire and into the ultimate that is what makes Kosaku a dangerous character. And, but Rosetta also responding with her own moves here. And Retro Station is just doing just enough to try to stay alive here. They're doing their best. Uh, health is just a even with Nana uh, actually doing the head. Let's check it out. Retro Station trying to stay alive here, but Nana actually using some of the specials at hand. Notice that uh, with Rosetta, you're not exactly using your specials, but with Kusaku, level 1 is not something that exists. But congratulations with that first game oh. going to Nana. Silence returns. And the Kosaku pick just killing it right now. Hello, Leary. You'll regret underestimating me. Please. Stay silent. Kosaku is such. Oh, I love Kosaku. Yeah. I, I want to learn more, so I'm glad that we're getting to see some really nice level play here from Nana. Again, this game just came out last week. So, seeing players actually being so strong as it is right now is incredible. Now, on the left, we did see the level 2 special, meaning that Retro Station's entire board goes and slows down in that trick of ice. Whereas Nana is able to just play comfortably as usual, has used that ultra bar to go ahead and switch over. Every time Kosaku actually switches, uh, is able to recharge their specials level 2 and level 3, which is what they use. Uh, whereas Retro Station is just trying to get all of that ultra bar back right away and going ahead to use the ult um, and to try to counter. But we do have a full ultimate from Nana. And while it did not do a lot of damage, it definitely did a chunk that was needed as Retro Station's health is going down by the minute as the board gets more complicated. And Nana doing an amazing job using the level 3 super and on the cooldown while Retro Station still building up that meter but able to actually get that level 3 hat. Yeah, Nana 
still going to activate. The full ult here. Also, another thing to keep in mind, the Sockets only use uh, their ult in the fire phase that they are in, or the fire stance. And that is a very tough board. It looks like Retrocession is the one that came out on top, despite being low in health. Actually, very crucial, because Nana is now in that orange range. The board is just getting harder and harder right now. It's getting intense. Chip damage avoided as well for Nana, but still, that board is getting more complicated. We have another Ultra that is just coming out from Nana. He's been able to use it officially each time, and both of them are connected, but this board might be the end of someone right now. As it's getting closer, both health even, and it's just intensifying both ults, or rather Rosetta's ult being used, and Nana trying to stay alive just because oh, of Ultra taking it over with a clutch win against Retro Station. I'm glad that ruckus is over. That was that was actually intense. That was really good. <laughs> Very good stuff there from Nana. Uh, you make a great mural for sure. Gonna be hopping into be potential prepared. set point. To this is gonna determine who goes to the winners, oh, or rather to grand ready? finals, and who will have to face off against Herbs on the loser side of things. Once again, the flawless has begun. Something to keep in mind as we're watching at these players play is oh look this is actually a perfect opportunity those are sort of like paint bombs that rosetta has um in her kit and actually messes up nana just a bit a uh, bit of a health just slowly decreasing and both of them have just been really accurate on their boards right now retrocession taking the lead in health here but this is where the board starts to get complicated as the song keeps going on so too does the board and you have to be careful because one mistake can lead into a plethora of damage. And right now we see that here with Retrostation trying to get the special out. But with the Frozen, won't be able to actually input any inputs in that moment due to the level 2 ice. Or level 3 ice. Nana doing an amazing job hitting some of those multiple notes. Able to avoid just a bit of chip damage, still taking a good chunk. But Retro Station is trying to stay alive and stay in the lead as far as health is concerned. But here we go, this is once again where we're seeing Nana in that fire stance and having to use all of that um, meter in Ultra to get the ult out. Here we go, fire level 3 out. And we see another ult in place. This is actually could spell detrimental for Retro Station. It's gonna have to make this comeback here from the slow movements, but because of the play, those inputs come out. Nana heads to Grand Finals for the win and waiting patiently as well. All right, that should be a little Nana bit better for quick. us. So this I'm is once again Rosetta speed. versus Hilda. Now, one You're thing we noticed about Herbs the speed. last time was that Herbs was not really oh, using yeah. Hilda's full healing ability, um, but was still able to stay alive due to the accuracy of uh, Herbs in the song. So this is Hydro Electric, another very good song, but very difficult, as you can already see, starting up to speed the pace. And we do have an ultra usage here from herbs no reversal from retro station but once again the perfect flawless and the board is just getting more difficult as time goes by with another flawless incoming very soon i always like the down right uh inputs personally oh yeah this is where the song's gonna start getting super uh, difficult with those double inputs because it's gonna be tricky to try to get that accuracy uh, Retro Station right now, very much in this health lead and sitting very comfortable. Uh, another Ultra here from Herbs, but it's not going to do much as the attempt to do the Ultra is going to cause all of this damage and has to stay alive. Not going to be able to do so once that hit goes out. And the first round or first game goes to Retro Station. You make a great mural. My power is divine. I love everyone's like designs in this game, personally oh, speaking. Uh, so this is the I think like Nebula stage, if I'm not mistaken, the Tilda stage. Uh, this song is called Time Space Strife. 
This one's actually one of the easier songs as well. So that's one of the things in God of Rock competition. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you like songs do get selected by random. Uh, each player has a choice to go ahead and choose the next song, but most of the time since it's still new, people are just using random. Um, oh, we do have a heal in line. Finally, Herb's actually using a special level 3 here uh, in the view. And we also have the ultras being used as well right now. That heal though going away, not going to be enough to get all of that, that health back that was lost against Retro Station earlier. Herb's getting the two-hit combo, but unfortunately dropping it. Gonna have to be able to hit those two notes, was not able to do so, and Retro Station is just in this lead right now. Herb's struggling to hit those double notes, it's gonna cost him, as his health's just gonna wind down very quickly, especially against Retro Station's Onslaught. But this is supposed to be one of the easier parts of the song. Hopefully, it'll be enough, but... Herbs getting hit again with a lot of damage. Look at all that damage just going right now as Retro Station is just chilling. The heal is out. Stacks are out times two. Who knows numbers, right? I'm, I'm terrible at math for that. But Herb saved by a pixel, but it's just gonna go down to the onslaught of Retro Station. And now Retro Station up to O. I don't know. I don't know about you, but this is getting well, spicy. Underestimating me. The fate brought us here. It's getting pretty oh, spicy in ready? here. This one's called Hogaku Hodan. And I actually enjoy this song a lot. This song, it's about to get crazy in about, I want to say, 15 seconds. Right here. And, and what's crazy is that Retro Station is just timing these attacks perfectly to make it very difficult for Herbs to remain accurate on the board right now. This, this is the part where the song just gets super crazy because these left-right inputs, you think you got them, but you don't got those. You don't got those. Retro Station, though, gonna take advantage of using the Flawless and the Perfect uh, special inputs to go ahead and catch Herbs off guard. Both of them actually struggled with the accuracy on this song and losing quite a bit of health. This might be good potential for Herbs if he's able to accept all of that chip damage, but he's unable to already with 25 percent now close to 10 percent and it's just gonna go straight down against retro station the whole world is my canvas Anna, yeah. being the Kusaku main throughout the entirety of the bracket we playing Kusaku against retro station's first change in character which is ziggy Ziggy is a rock star alien, from what I've, I've heard. Man. I feel like that's like the, the Freddy of Mercury souls. of like this game. Like, look how cool Ziggy looks. Alright, so this is where it gets really spicy here as Ziggy players start playing the game. This song is called Final Destination, but once again with Kosaku on that level 3 on ice, this is where, like, oh my gosh, with that level 3 ice on Kosaku, he, uh, he stops actually uh, from the opponent from pressing buttons, whereas Ziggy's level 3, that's a level 3, mind you, is uh, actually going ahead and just making the notes disappear. Actually, start, David Bowie is a better, uh, a better uh, representation, you're absolutely right. Nana doing an amazing job, though, hitting these double notes perfectly. Is still ahead of the health game, whereas Ziggy, or rather Retro Station, trying to make this comeback here, still staying alive accurately. Oh, but here it goes, the ultimate happening from Nana's side. And Retro Station is extremely low on health, but with Ziggy's abilities able to still keep up with the pace, able to avoid most of the chip damage, they're only missing one note, so very good. Nana trying to stay alive here. I think, believe currently on Fire Stance. And uh, already using level 3. 
Amazing job here from Retro Station. Actually able to keep up the accuracy while also putting in the specials, but very close and low on health, and Nana takes the first game. I feel your movement. Are ray guns allowed? Are ray guns allowed? I don't know. Defeat. Are you gonna bring a gun to a fire and ice oh, character <laughs> and win? We shall see. <laughs> this is also another. I think this is another difficult song. This is a uh, Saturday Fight Fever. Okay, Nana. Starting off very strong here on accuracy, so is Retro Station as well. Actually starting off the first first few seconds of the match using level 2s and level 1s at the moment. Ooh, and there goes that ult happening from Nana's side already in Ice Stage as well to get all of those cooldowns back up. And there goes the Frost Ice actually prohibiting Retro Station from being able to accurately press those buttons. And now the tempo speeds up with Nana actually being up ahead in the game with more accuracy while Retro Station is just struggling to hit some of these notes here. Nana looking still solid on the health lead while Retro Station making the comeback still staying alive between accuracy and those specials. But we have another ult here from Nana. And there it goes. That ult does um, insane damage as the onslaught of notes is definitely gonna take you out. And Nana goes up 2-0 against Retro Station. Who will stay alive? Will it be Retro Station? Will it be Nana? Got those hype emotes in chat for everyone. Oh, Answers is actually another really good song. On this stage, it's pretty go. It's like pretty good. <laughs> I said go, but like good. <laughs> this is actually another one of those difficult songs as well, too. So once again, if you're just tuning in, it takes a little bit for people to get used to, but the whole strategy behind it is that you want to pick a song that you're also an expert at, but also cause some trouble towards the opponent. But right now, Retro Station, while still losing a chunk of health, able to actually chew at Nana's health. But now Nana using the Kasaku ultimate on the fire stance. And Nana trying to stay alive and not take as much damage. Retro Station still pretty actually staying alive with health wise. Has been able to hit these notes very importantly. And look at all of that. Those notes disappearing on the board. Causing Nana to actually lose a good chunk as well. But Retro Station is going to get hit with the reversal. And Nana is getting ahead of the game. While using the level 2 ult and actually switching over to the ice stance. Retro Station's gonna have to try to stay alive, but no, that's actually gonna go ahead and slow down the board for Retro Station as these notes have to be hit perfectly with that pixel of health, but there it goes, and Naka is your combi of the Sakura Shrine with Kosaku. I find that super cool that Kosaku is the winner of the Sakura Shrine, considering that, you know, Kosaku is from uh, Japan. 